sometimes after we've been quite confident of our faith and we figured it out and we have fortressed ourselves even with scriptures but then there comes an overwhelming tremendous crisis there comes a time when the furnace is heated seven times hotter there comes the test of all tests to your life an overwhelming crisis strikes your home or your family the question will come am I paying for my past sins now there are consequences to sin there's judgment against those who don't judge their sins in the fear of God and the truth is there's little fear of God left in the world today there are consequences if we don't humble ourselves before God if we don't have a broken spirit and a contrite heart the Bible says God says I chasten all my sons and daughters he said if you're without chastening you're not a son you're not a daughter and he said at times it's grievous he said but I'm working something out in you he's working something out in us under chastening and we have to stand by sometimes when we see the judgments of God but you see his judgments are melted mended with great mercies but listen to me if the enemy is coming to you now tell him whom he loves he chastens and you are never more loved than when you're under chastening whom the Lord loves he chastens you can stand still and say no I will not take these lies and you begin to stand on these words we are justified freely we're redeemed by grace through faith in his blood we declared his righteousness for the remissions of sins that are past through his forbearance meaning for his patience all guilt all condemnation are lifted when you come to the blood of Jesus Christ and you believe what he promised there's now therefore no condemnation to them that be in Christ Jesus the great victory of the cross too is that he bore all our griefs and all our sorrows Isaiah 53, 3 and 4 He's despised and rejected of men He's a man of sorrows He's acquainted with grief We hid as it were our faces from Him He was despised and we esteemed Him not Surely He has borne our griefs And He's carried our sorrows Yet we did esteem Him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted And that word grief in Hebrew is pain Weakness, weariness, sickness, sorrows. Nothing can pierce the pain until we begin to cry out to the Holy Ghost. Until the Holy Ghost comes. Thank God for caring people. Thank God that I'm secure in Christ. Thank God that He's taken care of my regrets and brought peace and that. His mercy took on a face that was touched with the feelings of my infirmities and he knows my grief and he knows my sorrows and he knows my pain. He's been there. He's been through it. And he says, I can't stop it yet because if you're coming to me and you're going to fulfill your eternal purpose, I have to take you through the fire. I have to take you through the flood. And if I don't, your best has been aborted. I have to do this because I want you to glorify me all through eternity. And I can't explain it to you. And I know the Lord would say, I'd love to pull back the curtain. I'd like to tell you why. But I can't. And he never will. But that's how important faith is. Now, this is how important it is that we stand strong no matter what happens. To lay down our lives even at the cross. To be willing to die. Willing to be a martyr, whatever it takes. Oh God, I'm going to trust you in the fire, and though you slay me, yet will I trust you. But without the Holy Spirit coming down upon us, without an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, without a daily infusion of the Holy Spirit, this is impossible. We can't set our own hearts, we can't build our own faith. There has to be a cry comes the body of Christ Jesus. There has to be a cry that comes from the body. Oh, Holy Ghost, you were sent to comfort me. You were sent to heal me. You were sent to take me through my grief and my sorrows. And Holy Ghost, come down. 
Lift your hand and say, Holy Ghost, come upon me right now. Refresh me. Touch me.